Hey everybody. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you two Illustrator scripts that I use when I'm sending or setting up artwork and sending stuff off to a client and things like that. Um, the first script is called Delete Fluff, and that will um, basically delete all of the color swatches that are not used. It will delete all of the symbols. Um, I don't believe it deletes brushes, but it does delete any of the graphic styles. Um, and, and the main reason for this is maybe you have some graphic styles or you have some things um, in your files that you don't necessarily want sent to a client because they're tools for you. Um, the other reason is that it physically reduces the file size um, of, of the file so it, it takes up less space and the email is easier, blah, blah, blah. Um, because all of these swatches and, and symbols physically take up space in the file size, um, they just haven't been used yet. So um, the, the, the manual way to do it is on the drop down flyout, whatever you want to call it, you can do select all unused and then delete them. And then you would have to go, I believe you can do it for all this, uh, select all unused and then delete them. Um, this script basically just um, handles all that for you. And so it's really nice. The second script is called render swatch legend. And that will take all of these, uh, the swatches that I have used in the artwork and call them out and create a swatch so that the client can see those. Um, I have spot colors that I've um, defined and then I have one called shirt color. And because they've all been used in this artwork here, the um, script will leave those alone. So, so basically go file, scripts, delete fluff, and it says remove 64 swatches, six symbols, and eight styles. And if you'll notice over here in the swatches and the styles, we'll see that. All right, got rid of all those real quick. Now I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And then I'm going to do the next one, render swatch legend. Where'd that put that? Oh, put that up here. I guess it goes in the top corner. So then I can just drag that into space, into place and the client can have that. And you can see it named them. You can change the colors. This is all text that's fully editable, um, however you wanted to do it. Um, you can change the color so it's easier to read, things like that. But you can see it takes on the name, green spot, red spot, white spot, and shirt color. So um, I hope those are helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I'm gonna link in the description the two files that I use, render swatch legend and delete fluff. Um, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, um, and uh, join me next time. Thank you.